Hi everyone, this is Barb from Stormy Acres. Remember when we went uh, berry picking the other day? Well, I um, I went and picked berries again last night. And I have enough to make a pie. So right now I'm just kind of mixing the crust up. Um, I'm not going to show you how to make crust. This is just a double Crisco pie crust. You can go online. You can find the recipe. I've been making this kind for years. So I'm going to get this pie going, or this crust going here. And, um, and I'll show you how I make my fresh berry pie. I just use, um, I have this very old recipe book. I think my mother got it at a rummage sale a long time ago. It's got some really good recipes. As you see, I always use it because I have it piece of paper but um but yeah i do this fresh berry pie and then i just take and uh, make it my own some stuff i like i don't put lemon rind in there and i don't even i think i put i don't even think i put lemon juice in there but i do put the rest of the stuff but i do have four cups of berries so we're gonna make that pie this morning okay i will be back after i get this uh crust mixed up i just wanted to show you the secret to good crust so it's not all icky and tough as people complain it to be. See how I didn't mix it all together? That helps to not have it so it's tough. If it's crumbly like this, that's good. It'll be good and tender and flaky. Okay, so now we have to uh, go ahead and put in, I measured this out already. We're going to use these berries a little bit on the tart side sometimes. So. It says, um, you know, two thirds to three quarters of a cup. I'm using three quarters of a cup of sugar and two tablespoons of flour, which I've already measured out. Then, um, half a teaspoon of lemon and one and a half teaspoons of lemon juice. I am not using that. Don't like the taste of lemon. Don't like it in my pie. My pie turns out fine. So, like I said, making it my own. Okay. Now we need a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg, which I can get this. And of course, it's going to sprinkle. I got to pause this. Sorry. Okay. Now a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg. I see my nutmeg's almost gone. I got just a pinch more because I couldn't get a whole quarter. So that half a teaspoon of cinnamon cinnamon's okay so we'll get a half a teaspoon of that close enough nothing has to be perfect folks and an eighth teaspoon of salt I like this pink Himalayan salt it's got a good taste to it so just an eighth of a teaspoon That's good. And da -da -da -da, let's sit on that. Just stir that up just a little bit here. You can see I got my canning stuff back there. I still got to do that, but I'm going to have to do some more canning tomorrow because I have to go to work today. But yeah, just mix that up. Doesn't have to be totally perfect. I got some lumps in my sugar and but that's okay. Okay. And then what you're going to do is my pie crust is never perfect. It's fine. People eat it anyways. Stump some of those berries in there. They say about half. Just kind of spread them around here. Sprinkle half of this on there. Rest of the berries. Just kind of dump those on. Spread them around. Whoops, one hit the floor. Oh well. Sprinkle the rest of that on there. And last but not least, we need the butter. So just kind of put some butter. 
around on here. Tells you a tablespoon. I don't measure. You just got to put some butter in there. And that should be good. And then I need to put the top on. I always quarter mine like that so I can get it on there. And then here's what I do. I just kind of fold that over like that. Nothing goes to waste. Don't care. Everybody loves my crust. They don't care what it looks like. If you want to make yours fancy, you can. I don't. It works just fine. Let's kind of get that in there. And then, I will use my knife here. And you got to poke some holes in there for venting. Anywhere. Don't mat matter. One more thing we need. We need a little bit of sugar sprinkled on top of there. So, I'm going to go get a little bit of sugar right now. We're going to go over here. I need to wash my dishes. And what I do, is I just sprinkle a little bit of sugar on there like that. And put that in a 425 degree oven. It's already preheated and we put that in for what does it say 40 to 50 minutes always go on the lower side so we will put the timer on for whoops 40 minutes and set it and we will see what it looks like when it's done so my timer is going to go off here in a few seconds let's shut that baby off and let's look and see mm. That red ring around there is a silicone thing that keeps the crust from burning. I bought that uh, from one of my daughter's school fundraisers because I didn't have one. So let's get this pie out of the oven. Mmm, look at that. So, well, that silicone can be a little hot, so I do have to use that thing. But, uh, but that's it. That is a black raspberry pie. And um, don't worry if you can't make crust, just go buy a Pillsbury crust, but at least try to make, you know, make something. But um, we got to let this cool off before anybody can eat it. But I am going to take some with me for my lunch tonight. And um, probably give some to the girls, see how cool it gets in the next few hours or so. But uh, anyways, that's black raspberry you can use red raspberry, boysenberry, berry, any kind of berry for, to make this pie. But I will try to remember to put uh, the recipe down in the description box when I post this. Thanks. You guys have a great day.